Good morning folks. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I burn a DVD video disc using Pictures to XE software. This show is an old one in an old format. It just happens to be the smallest one I could find for this demonstration. First of all click on publish. Then go up to DVD video disc. You get a pop-up saying it should be saved so just click on save and it's saying you can't open it in an older vo version do you want to continue with the save so for the purpose of this exercise I'm saying OK right now pictures to XE burning um, screen has come up now and there are various things here you, you need to take account of depending on which country you live in and what type of uh, equipment you want to record the play sorry play the DVD on so first of all click on project options now your TV system this default here means it should play on a normal DVD player however some DVD players out there won't play either PAL or CCAM but with this set as such it should play either the alternatives are N NTSC and PAL CCAM I live in the UK so I'm setting it on PAL CCAM the aspect ratio is incorrect but I'm not going to alter that this was made in 4 b 3 aspect ratio it's showing 16 by 9 but I'm not going to alter it for the purpose of this demonstration the other items I've never changed anything um, and I've made over 500 successful DVD discs using pictures to exe software so just click OK on that. Now you'll notice down here the original size of the EXE file was 17 megabytes. Pictures to EXE has bumped that up to 230 megabytes. So when you initially start to make your show, if it's over 200 megabytes for the EXE file, I would check what this figure says once you've gone through this process because if it's over 4.7 gigabytes or if it's over 4 gigabytes it probably won't fit on a standard DVD disc right we'll proceed go over to the right hand side of the screen and click next that brings your title page up now I just put a simple title in I don't bother with anything here on the left hand side which are different features for putting titles in I just put a bog standard title just click on the box and I've just typed in Eric's disk and I'm clicking next right the next screen doesn't show the title of the project so I'm making sure the title of the project is the same as the previous one now I'm not altering anything whatsoever on there and going to the right hand side of the screen again and I'm clicking on start that pop up has come up now because it's saying that a disk is not inserted so click OK and your disk drive door should now open and you can insert I always use a DVD-R disk I've tried other discs and I've tried fast discs and always had more success with a DVD R disc with a low speed. So I'll put the disc in and I'm clicking start. It's saying CD burning is not supported. Now these this batch of discs that I'm using, I've had this problem with them since I bought them. Um, so I'm, I'm going to ignore it 
and click start again. Now it's brought up the start screen and the disc has started to burn. So rather than watch this go through the whole process, I'm just going to pause this recording. Right, we're getting near the end of the process now, so I've switched the recording back on. you notice there that file mu multiplexing has come up. Converting menu to MPEG2. VOB files. ISO mo mode creation, DVDs checking, DVD disc burning and setting burning speed. Now sometimes I've had problems with the burning speed where it says the speed is incorrect. Uh, you need to make it what your disc is rated at. So you may need to go in back into the first part of the program to set the burning speed. The, the default I think is 24x. We'll let this run through because it seems to be advancing pretty quick. I, I, I want to keep pausing it because I'm conscious of, that the file that the Camtasia Studio 8 makes is quite large and people wouldn't want to download it. That's almost complete now. just pause this again and wait for the next screen to pop up. Right, the burning process is completed and it's showing the um, disc, what's recorded on it up on the left hand side of the screen there. Just going to click on the OK now. Disk drawers opened with the completed disk and the green arrow on the disk itself says that we've had a complete burn successfully. And that's about it. Well I hope um, it's helped those of you who want to burn a disk and have never done it or anyone who's pondering on how you should do it with pictures to exit. Thank you for watching.